Welcome to the Real and Road Pod. My name is David, and I am here with my ever dog loving co host, Eve. Except for those four I wanted to kill. <laughs> here on the Real and Road Pod, we take a concept of character from a movie and ask the question what if it or they were in the real world? We take five minutes to come with three points each, and then we discuss Eve, what is the question today? So the question is what if everyone was a rapper? Based off the movie, All Eyes on Me. But I know something about you. You went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. Oh! What's the matter, dog? You embarrassed? This guy's a gangster? His real name's Clarence. Oh! You know, wait, it's not just a two. It's Tupac and Biggie's movie. No, it is just Tupac's movie. Oh, so Biggie has one too? No, maybe he's he's going to be in it. Mm, but it it's not his movie. Be. Yeah, he kind of um, has to be, but it's not I his thought, movie. When they were filming, I thought that's what my friend said when no. he was on set. I was what, like, is, what is what is big? All eyes on me. So, what would Tupac's? I mean, Big Biggie's phrase be? What would Biggie? What What would the name of his movie be? More money, more problems. Yeah. So it'd be all eyes on me, more money, more problems. Less cake. <laughs> Mushed together. And less cake. All eyes on money, more problems. Um. So, are you looking forward to this Tupac movie? Hell no. <laughs> Ain't no. First Does of your all, cultural, ethnic background not influence you to go see this movie? That's like saying because I'm black, I should go see Roots. <laughs> all the black people out there just gasped. <laughs> you haven't seen Roots? What? I actually have not. I've never. I haven't seen the original or the remake that they did. They did a remake. Yeah. I have never seen any of it because I don't like slave films. Because yeah. I just no. Not that I don't care. I don't care about the film because I don't like the reaction of people in the film. People don't leave it with knowledge. They right. leave it with either I hate all white people or right. white people leave it like I'm scared or <laughs> <laughs> white people leave it like Yeah, we glad we did it. I don't like the reaction people have. I'd rather uh-huh. you just go watch something more entertaining, uplifting. Maybe put a black right. person in. You know, like. Power with something happy, something something mm-hmm. nice. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, it's gonna. I'm. I feel like it's gonna be ratchet. And, oh. Um, I mean, it's two part. Like, what? That no, doesn't make I'm rat- talking about in that era. Like, oh, you know, you mean he's gonna be ratchet there? I thought you meant the movie's gonna be ratchet. No, the movie. Yeah, I think the movie's gonna be ratchet. Oh. Yeah. Just. I mean, because of what I heard. Would you uh, like to explain ratchet to our people who don't <laughs> those understand? Who don't know, I think it's gonna be a lot of booty popping. Uh huh. Um, drugs. Yes. Um, I really hope. Like, I feel like they're not gonna capture the actual intelligence that poop to poop pop poop pop <laughs> that Tupac had My or fears has. That they Will. If he's not dead, no, well, my, my fear is that they will. They will capture that. Really? Okay, I like yeah. Tupac. Mm-hmm. And so when he when he's actually like speaking, when he's speaking, but they mm, no continue. Yeah, I was say I like Tupac when he's you know just like talking about the whole love life, love yourself, you know, f everybody else type stuff. But when you get to that, <laughs> the booty popping and titties out and sex and drugs and murder and you know which is probably just a huge miscommunication and other what? people got involved when they didn't need to get involved because they're trying to show somebody up and now people dead so yeah interesting uh i am not looking forward to the movie mm-hmm. for multiple reasons one they kind of rushed it because kinda. they only... I think they only filmed for like three months. No. Well, what ha- here's what happened. Um, they had... Like, they could have made the film for forever ago. Mm-hmm. Waited too long. They're about to round the rights for the... Um, the uh, Music. Music. Uh, that can hinder you a lot. Uh, happened with the Jimi Hendrix movie. Uh, when you don't have the rights, kind of, you know, what what you gonna do? No uh, one wants to hear with, unreleased hits. Movie. Yeah, no one wants to hear that kind of stuff. Or the Aaliyah movie. In all oh, these yeah. all these fake movies. <laughs> yeah. So basically no one wants to hear that. At least Wendy Williams didn't direct it this time. No matter who directed it. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh don't do that. So then they rushed it and then mm-hmm. they put it together. It looks like it's like eh. Um, oh, I haven't seen any gonna, clips. I've I just seen, know it was shot in Atlanta and how ratchet the set was, so uh I've seen it about a couple times. I mean the trailer. Uh mm-hmm. I have I don't think it will succeed. Nothing against the film. It could be a good film, but the time is coming out, it's not gonna succeed. It's mm-hmm. coming after I believe the mummy, which is also coming after Wonder Woman, and it's also coming going against cars. You don't bet against animations. That's just mm-hmm. life. Uh even if the animation sucks. Uh Ice Age. Anyway, um <laughs> I I also am not looking forward to it because I think his family members have some 
ish, they had an issue with it. They did? Mm-hmm. My issue is I thought they had a hand in it. I don't like movies when you have a hand in it because you make the person more like an angelic figure. I don't want right. to see that. That's my issue with what happened near the end of Straight Outta Compton. Well, most of Straight Outta Compton. All of them were necessarily good. When mm-hmm. I'm like, you know they weren't good. We have the actual history to go by. Y'all were some ruthless type people. Ruthless. Ha! Ruthless mm-hmm. type people. Uh, at certain points of your life Mm so I'm like "Mm, this ain't I don't believe this I don't like this so yeah um but yeah I'm not I'm just not looking forward to it but let's get to it so the question was what if everyone was a rapper Mm -hmm. oh did you see hologram Tupac hell no you didn't see hologram Tupac no it's so cool like, it's really cool. I saw Hologram Whitney Houston. No, Hologram Tupac is awesome. Like, the way he comes out the floor. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. We're going to watch that. It's so oh good. God. It's so good. Okay, but anyway, three points in five minutes. Three, two, one, go. And we're back. And the question was, what if everyone was a rapper? Ladies first. If everyone was a rapper, we would break out into rapping musicals in public. My, Why? Because this was my thought process is that I was going to say that less guys may get rejected, but I was like, nah, that may not change. Or less people would get rejected when trying to talk to somebody. But you know how these girls, um, I say these girls or these women or whomever, not me, because I think it's the stupidest thing ever. But someone starts like singing to you in public, you know, just Chris Brown and you and stuff. And, you oh, know, you like it if a man came and Chris Brown, you know, it's so what annoying. if it was actually Chris Brown? No, I don't think he's attractive. No, I'm just saying he can't. He Chris, he's doing himself. Like, I wouldn't think he was. I'd be what like, if? Why? Uh, <laughs> like, why are you doing this? <laughs> no, I was about to say your husband. Uh, what if your husband came and sing? Came, no, would... not sing, because he never, he didn't sing. Oh. He rapped. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Will Smith was a rapper. Probably he was. And, and, <laughs> yes, and he did a a unique rap about you know how he used to do raps about every movie he was in. Mm-hmm. Then now he brings that back. I don't know what his next movie is. Um, I think it's... Uh, okay. Well, he's uh, on the Netflix thing. Oh, Bright. So mm-hmm. he's in Bright. So let's say he raps about, like, ogres and orcs and stuff. Like, he comes up to you and I'm like, you're my one orc I want to be with. Like, stuff like that. Would you, would you mind that? I would think that it was the cutest thing, but I would say, I'd be like, we could have done this in private. <laughs> no, in public. With a whole bunch of people dancing behind them, like, sidestepping and clapping. I would take a video... And then um, that's that's the end of it because we had to talk. I'm like because I don't like po- I don't like attention. So he gonna bring it all to you. I'd be like, Mm-mm, you remember his last album? His what? His last album? Like his years ago last album? Like yeah. Like, years oh, ago. Okay, I was gonna say something recent. No, I don't think he's coming out with any recent thing. He better not come out with anything ever anymore. <laughs> what? The, the, on the last album, he had a song with Robin Thicke. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice song. I was like, oh, well, look at Robin Thicke. I mean, he sounded good. Everybody sounded good on that song. I'm about to say this was before Robin Thicke divorced. Robin Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, uh, his deception and before you know, he was lying. Sad yeah, and, he... Gave, and dedicated an entire album to her. Uh, no, he didn't. I mean, yes, he, he said did. he said he did. Uh, the name that was... album was not for that woman. Oh. It is a not. But wasn't she the name? That was the name of the album. I don't know, but I'm telling you, if you listen to the album, mm. you don't feel anything. I think maybe two songs, maybe kind of related, maybe. But I'm like, I was expecting some Adele stuff. I was right, excited. Right. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get some deep stuff. I love deep depression. And then I listened to him like, this ain't it. This ain't mm. this ain't the move. So yeah. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, if a guy came up to a girl and started like rapping to her, like, but a girl's a rapper now too. So what now? So she can rap back. So now. Uh, we gotta, oh, now we rap gotta, battle? Yep, rap battle. Have a cypher. Boom. Cyphers pop off everywhere. Yeah. I can see that. Kind of mm-hmm. like um, uh, 8 Mile when they're exactly. all rapping around that truck. 8 Mile every day, all yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> On lunch break. Right. <laughs> Rapping. Right. What do you have? Okay, my, ne- my, next, my first point is that there would be a gold shortage. There would be a what? A gold show. Oh, because rappers. Yeah, gold. Mm. All up in the mouths, okay? And slash, slash, Dennis would go out of business. Yes. No. Yeah, you replace they... all your regular teeth with gold teeth. Oh. Yep, yep. Not gold caps, gold teeth. Yep. Hmm. Like Johnny Depp did. No, wait, he did caps. No. Never mind. I was going to say, Johnny Depp still got some teeth or veneers, whatever. Whatever they call it. Um. But yeah. So yeah. Let's gold shorts. Everyone's wearing gold necklaces. Mm-hmm. You put getting gold imprinted in your clothes. You know, Kanye West got some like gold pants somewhere that's just oh, full yeah. gold. Oh yeah. Like a gold wig or something. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> just because your wig. Yeah. Because he's just that extreme for no reason. <laughs> so gold. Everything like gold earrings, gold teeth. Why not? Gold, gold would be just cheaper because it more wouldn't. People... It would not. No. Mm-mm. You know, it'd be more expensive because everyone's a rapper. 
Mm. Even the jeweler's a rapper. He's like, oh, I got to sell y'all this at a high price. Mm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't know why for right now when I think of rap. I even I listen to all kinds. Of, I listen to recent. Mm, let me. I listen to some recent rap, mm-hmm. but every time I talk about rap, I think about back in the day when they were like, duh, 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 huh, huh, huh. oh yeah, be my face, and I'm going to dick. Even though I never listened to like that. The yeah, rap. beginning <laughs> rap. I never listened to that because it sounds corny to me. But it's so funny, like going down the street and I'm going to get some drink. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Get out my face, sucker jam. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny because my little sister always says sucker. So she's like, you don't know nothing about this sucker. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, so yeah, little, a lot of gold shortages and no dentist being employed. Huh. Yep. I don't know if they put more people in slavery to mine for gold. Uh, or, you know, just more like uh, shows about people with, you know, mining for gold and rapping, I guess, during it. Oh, yeah. I guess that would be a reality show. Yep. Mm-hmm. Rappers trying to find gold. Yep. Anyway, what's your next point? My next point Mm -hmm. is that there would be... Wrap your next point. (laughs) No. You have to wrap your last point. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I can wrap the last one. That's cool. (laughs) That in schools, Uh there would be an added class, and it would be a thesaurus class. For all of those... To teach words. To for just to read words because as a rapper, gotcha. if you at least care about your your craft, yes. you know you, you want to always be on the you want to be on the next level, and to do that, you gotta you gotta have that vocabulary a like one. Oh. You feel me? Question, answer, uh, side question. Who's your favorite? Let's say say let's say three mm-hmm. top rappers right now. Who you got? In currently, not like oh, I love that P Diddy, and he hasn't made music in forever. Oh, not that that'll be your answer, but I'm just no. saying current people who you current got. people. Um, I mean three to five if you got them, you know. No, nah, not three to five because I haven't been that like hit Into, to the music. Hip to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hit yep. to the music okay. lately. But I would say, what's his name? Mm-hmm. What's his name? Yeah, yep. Lil Wayne. <laughs> no. Big Sean. I actually listened to two some, chains. I listened to something of Big Sean that I was like, okay, this isn't bad. <laughs> That's a great description of rap music. Okay, this, this isn't, isn't bad. bad. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I would have to definitely say Kendrick. Mm hmm. Um, Kendrick Lamar, for those who... You know. I think everybody knows who that man is. <laughs> Whether you know music or not, you saw him this past weekend because he was on the finals, the NBA finals. He does the... He's doing a voiceover. So oh, saw, is he really? He, I knew. I was like, this man everywhere. I, I knew okay. what was going to happen. He's, but his oh, yeah. song that he has doesn't even fit technically what they're talking about. At all. Because he's talking about Be Humble. But I'm like, right. uh, I don't get that. Be but humble. you have other songs y'all could use, like DNA or something. Yeah, like... Mm, which no. I think they use a little bit. But yeah. It's just like, God, what's the most what's the most popular song Yeah, right pretty now? much right it's now. Just, mm-hmm. That's what we're yeah. going to use. We're that one um kendrick mm-hmm. wale mm-hmm. um i listened to his album some songs i was like eh. mm-hmm. some i was like oh okay i could do that mm-hmm. um and i'm on the search for a new rapper okay it's me to too those hoes yeah trying okay. to trying to fill those hoes okay yeah i was trying <laughs> to fill those hoes uh those hoes uh i would go kendrick as well mm-hmm. um uh Love I'm Lupe. trying to find some underground people. Uh, sweatshirt, Earl sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Um, Vince Staples, mm-hmm. love him. He's my Tupac of this day. That I think. Oh, uh, not from pe- people like oh, Tupac was a visionary of the streets. No, I got it. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Tupac. Well, I I like Tupac. I like. I his never word. was a huge fan, but you know, I never hated him because I there are some rappers who I'm just like, you garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How are you making music? Oh yeah. No. Um, who else? Tupac was never bad. No, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't. No, 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 no. We've had some people, though. Uh, we may, This might be our most viewed on podcast. I doubt it. Uh, be a bunch of haters. How you ain't gonna mention my dog? Exactly. Um, who, who's a horrible rapper? Um, not horrible, but who's, like, not? Panda. But people, like, those are some catchy songs. Because <laughs> even though I'm not, like, the, I'm a lyrical type guy. Mm-hmm. But that is some catchy songs that it just threw me off on that Bill Not a Science Guy thing when he was on that show because he was like, like my friend Pant, like my friend Design. I was like, wait, what? It's I like, but I couldn't understand a word he was saying. Here's the thing, though, guys. If you ever want to laugh, go watch an interview with Designer and put on the subtitles for Google. It struggles so much and it is so entertaining. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll go with those people. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, Big Crit, I like him. I wish oh, yeah. Andre 2000 would come Big back. Craig? I forgot um, all about him. I like Side of Prince from uh, Atlanta. So what's up? Uh, 
I think that's oh think Chance the Rapper. Freaking. No, not Chance the Rapper. I'm sorry, reject. Not that I don't like him, but he ain't at the top. Yeah. Uh, um, Childish Gambino. Gosh darn it. Oh yeah, why didn't we think of people from my actual city? <laughs> I actually, I don't. I'm not in love with his album. I'm in love with certain songs. Oh, I love that last album. Wait, no, two albums ago. The one oh. with 3005, whichever one that one is. Oh, yeah, that's like that one of the like best albums. Oh, very, yeah, that was one of the best yeah, albums. The, but best. the one after that. that was like, he only had like a couple. A couple Bet you he starts making music after this. He would be the type to do that mm-hmm. on some mess. Like, I hate those type of people. Right. All that talent. He's like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to take away. I'm gonna, Andre 3000, you're doing the same thing. I'm going to take a break. I'm gonna, no, right. <laughs> give us some music. He's like, oh, okay, I'm over it. Yeah. But anyway, okay. uh, back. So, kids, elementary school, the sources. The sources mm-hmm. classes. Got gotcha. you. The source. And so, anyone who doesn't know what the source is, it's just a really big dictionary. No, it's not. No? No. The source is a book with a bunch of words in it. What's but I don't the think they have a definition in them. I think they do have the definition in it. Then why would they, they call it a dictionary? I thought the source, that's what you use like for the internet sometimes. Hold on. Okay, Google. What is a the source? Okay, so it's just the synonyms and the... Hmm. That's lame. Oh, no. Nah, this, this is how it be. Okay. That's but I like that. My, I, I like it because it gives kids just more words. It, more and, education. Yeah, more education. Like, mm-hmm. we are struggling on the words front mm-hmm. really bad. Vocabulary. Who? it is struggling. Vernacular. Mm. People, please <laughs> read a book. One with read a thesaurus. Read, read, read a thesaurus. <laughs> a book with a little bit more deeper words than the ones you're probably used to. Right. Let's go a little bit. You know, a couple more syllables in your in your vocabulary. Uh, please, please. Thank you. I please, please. Do you have a big word to share? <laughs> I just land. Thesaurus is what I had. That's your biggest word. <laughs> Got me on the spot. <laughs> We should have we should have each learned the word. My word today. The word of the is, day. Is, yeah, the word of the day is when I thought of that, my mind just went straight to Arthur. And I was like, A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. And oh it's just R Bark. But uh <laughs> That's your big word of the day. That's my big word. <laughs> okay, moving on. Oh. My next point is that we will have a lot more pollution, okay? Are you trying to say the rappers are dirty? No. <laughs> they're not throwing stuff. No, I mean like, I mean gas pollution. I didn't mean like uh, throw stuff on the ground pollution. Like, I no, still don't understand. Dirt. I don't know. Okay. So we got private jets. We got fancy cars. Oh, so all these rappers. giant they, mansions. So these people successful rappers. I believe, to an extent. You I still, wasn't thinking hey, that everybody man, be successful. Uh, here's my thing. Here's my thing. You release a single nowadays, one song, that can feed you a good bit. You can get but a good if, amount of change out there. everybody was a rapper, everybody couldn't be a good rapper. Why not? If they couldn't get thesauruses. <laughs> they didn't, they couldn't go to school. Oh, everyone has different tastes as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, there will be a significant amount more than there is now. So still, it mm-hmm. was still affected in a giant amount. Now, let's say only 10% of the population is Oops. a rapper. That's still a bunch of people being a rapper. I mean, a good rapper. I'm sorry, a successful rapper. Right, successful There's still a rapper. bunch of people like building extra oh, you big know houses. Funny, I just realized. Being a successful rapper doesn't mean you're a good rapper. No, not at all. Those are mm-hmm. two different things. People think it does. They're like, oh, Drake's the greatest rapper ever because he has the most plays. That's not how that works. That's not how it works. That's not how that works. Okay. Jace is the most successful at being sad. Who? Drake. Oh, I thought you said Jay-Z. I was like, no, he's the most successful at being successful. Oh, yeah. He's supposed to... <laughs> He was like, I'm going to be in the game. He was the he guy. Got, he got in the game, <laughs> yeah. did his thing, and now he's just like, I'm here. Yep. Okay. Making I'm, money. <laughs> I'm worth millions. <laughs> yeah. My wife is worth millions. Yeah. My baby is worth millions. Oh, yeah. And my twin's about to be worth millions. Everyone let that sink in. His baby is richer than you. Yes. And probably richer than you'll ever be. His baby was richer than you literally from the first day she was born. Yep. But Period. you know what? I believe in y'all. Be richer than that baby. Everyone go out there and be richer than Blue Ivy. Future. That should be a quote. Everyone go out there and let be richer than Blue Ivy. Yep. You don't know. The, you don't know. This. <laughs> But yeah, y'all can beat Blue Ivy. I believe in y'all. So right. yeah, I think a lot, a lot more pollution because fl- private jets. That's just a lot by itself. And then you got big mansions because you're cutting down all those trees to make room for the big mansions. True. There you go. True. Not a lot of space. Not a lot of space left. Okay, everyone's running around. So s- global warming would oh, it's skyrocket, especially with this whole new uh, uh, global warming thing with the president. So you know, uh, mm. that's the whole thing right there. Mm. Didn't he choose? He chose not to sign, right? He pulled out. They were already yeah. signed. They were already part of it. But the thing is that he's bringing back jobs and to bring back jobs, he's bringing back like coal miners and stuff like that jobs. But you can't do that if you are on a peace treaty that tries to knock that stuff out and go with more green, you know, 
Right, self sustainable, self sustainable stuff. They're like, oh no, no, that would be better. Let's bring for back us. the coal and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, why yep. can't you create jobs from people? I mean, like, somebody has to mow the lawn. <laughs> like, come on, like, <laughs> make a lawn mower. I don't think the president is into making lawn mower businesses for people. I'm just saying, but, like, for the for the solar panel, you know, plants. Like, yeah, I'm, but I'm sure they made a machine that just builds those to cut the lawn. No, the solar panel. That's what I'm saying. But somebody got like, you know, they probably up. make a machine there too. Mm. Clean up. They'll probably have a robot do that too. There's probably a what's that thing Take called? Now. That little robot that sweeps up stuff? Hoover? Oh, the Hoover Hoover Vacu- vac- Hoover vacuum or whatever it's called. Man. Yeah. No, I think Rumba? I think I think Rumba. Ho- there you go. I was about to say Hoover is Rumba's an actual Rumba. vacuum. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they have a little robot version. But yeah, what's <laughs> your what's your last point? Say so, Rap it rap it to us. <laughs> are you rapping your last point? I need a beat if I'm on a rap it. Okay, you want an old school beat? Like, <laughs> okay, yeah, well, that could work that. Okay, no, we don't need that part. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh. Uh. That's the whole part. Mm. Oh, <laughs> no. uh, more uns in life. More uns in life. See, I always see that too because we're trying to think of the next creative word. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. All right, go ahead. Drop a beat. Mm-mm. All right. Here we go. So my name is Eve. I'm on the real and real pot. I got my last point that I gotta spit to my David. I was about to call you something else, but that wasn't your name. But we gonna Rod? Yeah, I was. You're trying to rhyme. rhyme. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with it. Hurry okay. up. We got no time for All this. All right, go ahead. <laughs> no, just tell us what the point. Oh no, I wanted to wrap it. Okay. All right, go ahead. Right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> So like I said, my name is Eve and I'm on a real and real pod. I got my co-host here. His name is David Summers. Good job. <laughs> then with my last point here, it's pretty simple. Like all my points, it's got death involved. Oh. Everybody- <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Pause. What's the what's the point? That there would be more murders because if we go back to old school rap, not all of like, them were gangster murderers. No, but we're you know we got beef with people, uh, and beef tends to get a little too elevated, a little yeah. too passionate. Bang bang boom boom. I can't comprehend that at all. Yeah, me neither. How dare you say that? Let me run over to your studio and shoot you in the face, right? And Even everybody you else said this thing that? that would not relate to me ever in my life. Mm-hmm. Now your daughter's a whore. I'm like, oh no, you didn't. Let me go shoot you. Right? What? Why? Like, now you're in jail. Your daughter ain't got no father. What? <laughs> <laughs> Now she so, will be a so, whore. You, so you proved him wrong? I mean, <laughs> ha ha ha. My daughter's not a whore and you just died, sir. You're going to jail. In your face. But I proved my point. Okay. Yeah. No, so more deaths. That's dumb. That's really not you. I'm saying people. No, that yeah. That. that is that is idiotic. I don't I thought get, that was pretty. I don't get why people do that. Um What's I liked your last it. point? Thank you. It's non existent. Ooh, so sad. Ooh, because <laughs> you had a good thesaurus when I was slick gonna steal that later, and then you just busted out like ah, <laughs> <laughs> stole my thesaurus. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. My last point is that kids would retain more knowledge for longer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Remember Schoolhouse Rock? Yes. Okay. So remember 5, 10, 15, mm-hmm. 20, 20, all those conjunction yes. junctions? Because you had the songs. Huh? I never knew what he said, but I know he was always depressed because he was like, How can I? I was like, You okay? Then the coup come out. He was like, Right. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only, only a, a bill. bill. Oh, yeah. And I'm sitting here on Capitol mm-hmm. Hill. Uh, uh, it did show you how long a bill took to go through. It took a yeah, long time. it took a long That's why time. he was so depressed. Yeah. He was probably on drugs. I'm just saying. <laughs> like most of our government. Like some anti like some type of you know, strong drugs. Because he was so low and sad right. and depressed. Takes some right. downers. Uh, poor guy. But uh, yeah, they, they were catchy songs that you always remembered. Mm-hmm. And it helped, you know, just keep things with you for a long time. I think it's something about music and the brain. Because it's more fun. Probably, because you don't realize what you're... Because it's like you'll hear... Like, you hear kids today. Like, you'll hear kids singing... Like, I heard this five-year-old literally word for word singing a Michael Jackson song. And I'm like, bruh. What's your name? I don't know. We should <laughs> put it in the song. It'll you know? You but yet, you can sing, like, all... You know all these words and all that. It's just something... It's music rhythmic. Is, music yeah, like, is mm, awesome. Mm, it's a mm. great for mankind. Yeah, so how we eventually... Like, 
I don't care what anyone says. Immigrants know more than a lot of Americans, okay? Because they have to take a test Mm -hmm. and learn all this stuff. Learn stuff that we don't know. We don't know. Well, we were taught, but we don't retain that information. They have to for some possible reason. I don't understand how knowing this information will help you with the country. I don't get that. I honestly don't understand. If anything, you're just helping them infiltrate our country. Oh, I know who's the third president. Yet, that didn't help you become famous or rich or successful mm-hmm. or like live a better life in America because the other kid that don't know nothing became right. an actor and now is rich. Like it, it, I don't get it. But anyway, it will help us retain more knowledge, especially when we get older and we forget things. We just, that song will pop in our head with, you know, whatever it is. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, I remember that. Da, 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 da. And there you go. There you go. I like that. I Thank like you. that. Look at that. We talking about we mm-hmm. trying to educate mm-hmm. the world mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. then after that, they become rappers. They kill each other. Oh. That's- but. Let's circle black. Kill each other with knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Shot you in the face. That's an anamonopia. What? <laughs> So sometimes you like be like very deep conversations with very like stretched out fancy vernacular, and mm-hmm. I was like, ah, oh, you just tried it for me, pow, pow, pow. You know, you did. But I can in the library because I assume that's where everyone is. Just be a library full of thesauruses. Yeah, that's it. We don't need other books. <laughs> no other books need. <laughs> we just got Mm-mm. thesauruses. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go down our points. All right, so more rapping musicals in public. There will be a thesaurus class. No, not more rapping musicals. Uh, what? More ciphers. More ciphers in public. Yeah, more ciphers yeah. in public. Um, like they're not really in public, but they're in hiding. No, I think they should be in public. No, Just like a yeah, right. <laughs> Where they stand around that truck rapping for, during lunch. Yeah. It looks so cold and rainy and They wet. were cold. <laughs> it was. It was all those things. There would, be a, there would be a thesaurus class. Um, put into schools and more people would die because rappers would want to unfortunately kill some people because of that beef right because it'll be that to show them who's man who's mm. boss if you got beef it's best, best if it's well who's done. the baddest BT side BT side <laughs> BT C H on the block <laughs> Wow, B-I-T-H. I didn't know what I was like, you what am spelling? I trying to spell? Are you trying to censor for kids? <laughs> like, mm, BT I need to pick me up at the source Hashtag <laughs> I T H whatever okay. Uh, my three points is uh, there'd be a go short a slash. Mm-hmm. Then this would be out of job. Second one is that a lot more pollution. Third one is that we retain more information. You know? Yes, you know yes. longer. Okay, and that's the show. Eve, tell us. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's the show. Eve, tell us where they can find us. <laughs> There you go. Yes. <laughs> you guys can find us on YouTube, SoundCloud, <laughs> iTunes, Twitter. No, nope, sorry. YouTube, mm. SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Tumblr. And don't forget about <laughs> Facebook. Okay? Now, if you want to actually hit us up and talk to us, by all means, reach, to out, reach out to us on the good old Twitter at Real and Real Pod. You'll find me, Miss Lovely Score, Miss Lovely underscore, say it with me. Curves. Yeah. Cur- 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 curves. And then you got good old Dave Aroni over here. It's a Christian. <laughs> and don't forget about our Instagram page. Same at Real and Real Pod. Go like a cute, go like a couple photos, videos. Hit us up. Talk to us. Let us be successful, guys. We want to be successful for you. Send us a uh, a, a rap <laughs> about the show. Right, rap about the show. <laughs> Send us a rap intro up in the beginning of the next show. Oh, that would be so cool. Uh, but uh, also, if you like donate to the family, that'd be really nice. Need your help, please. Thank you. Also, if you like donate to the Patreon, but you only have a quarter, you don't have a dollar. Go find three other people with quarters, and now you can all give to the Patreon. But if you don't feel like it, go buy a bag of chips and listen to the show. Now you got friends, you're welcome. Have a great day. We love you. Bye.